these uh, minerals pulverized um, and mixed uh, with Japanese hide glue, so you're basically making your own paint. And that process of pulverization, that process that um, uh, the craftsmen of um, old um, have developed to um, break apart minerals in a particular way so that if you were to look at these pigments under the microscope, they're not uniform. Um, they're all different uh, shards, uh, prismatic shards. So in order that the shards created uh, in, in an artist's hand that can, can be layered into um, this beautiful surface, uh, you know, you, you, you begin by breaking apart, you begin, you begin by actually destroying the, the, the very thing that um, you're, you're actually traumatizing the, the mineral. But, um, but the end result is this finely articulated splendor. Everybody has some kind of traumatic past. Persecution, suffering, trauma, with the, the themes that Endo directly dealt with has become a normative reality for us. And so when I began to write, I began to realize that what Endo was writing, which I thought I wanted to avoid because it is trauma traumatic and difficult to face, was actually becoming an antidote for me. That it, it actually had this effect, as I spent more and more time with it, that it began to rejuvenate what was fragmented, you know, maybe buried deep inside of me, um, and nurtured it um, in, in, in the strange way and that my faith was stronger for it because I, I, I wrote this book and I journey with Endo. So he is a guide. He's, he, he's, he's the one who dared to walk right into the heart of that darkness. What Endo does is he creates a way for ordinary, weak, broken human beings to know that there is grace at the base of the universe, operating to catch us as, as, as we struggle. Now there is a new possibility that Endo lays out um, that affects all of us as we consider what is our role as Christians? You know, how, how do we move into the world full of trauma and full of suffering, full of persecution? Well, Endo gives us that map.